I'm back, Gen X Gamer here with a brand new video. Yes, a brand new video. But first, I want to say thank you to all of our new subscribers to the channel. Uh, in the last month and a half, we've had several come on board. I'd just like to give a special warm welcome to all of you and a thank you. And then also to our old tried and true subscribers that have been here since the beginning. Thank you so much for sticking around with me all that time. So I appreciate each and every one of you. So we're looking today at ATC Pro. And in our last video, I kind of mentioned in passing, eh, would you guys be interested in maybe doing some tutorials? And I prefaced it by saying, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert. So we'll be learning as we go together. There are several of you that are out there that are definitely more qualified than me to try and explain this stuff. However, I just kind of want to do it in a way that makes it enjoyable for the average everyday lay person to want to get involved in the hobby of, you know, AC, ATC, you know, air traffic controlling and flight simulation and be able to experience it in a way where it's not intimidating and you're not scared to death to try. So that's what these tutorials are going to be about so that you can come out here and just enjoy learning and growing. And it's up to you to take it to whatever level that you want to. I, I just don't have time to cross all the T's, dot all the I's, learn every single procedure and all that stuff. What I do for a living is I trade cryptocurrency and stocks and I invest. So I'm busy looking at charts, drawing harmonic patterns, uh, support and, and resistant lines and that type of thing all day. Some days, 12 to 16 hours a day, no exaggeration. So that is my life and I'm just not going to be that guy that's going to be able to cross every T, dot every I but perhaps you want to be that person. So you'll be able to take this base level of knowledge as we learn and take it to whatever level you want to. So I just wanted to get that out there right away. Be honest with you guys, I'm not an expert. I don't do this for a living. Um, I do this as a hobby. Second thing is, I would be remiss to not mention that if you have not purchased ATC Pro and you're thinking, oh, I would like to, I'm considering doing it, I want you to know the game is no longer supported. You're gonna have about six airports. There, there are no more airports coming unless they were to sell the rights to this to another company to develop it. So my understanding, someone mentioned in the comments um, that they used to talk with, with the creators and one of them ended up getting sick. So that that's the main reason why this hasn't been able to go any further. So. I know it's been a lot of talking, but I just really needed to say all these things so that you guys understand uh, what's going to be happening here with these tutorials and what happens if you purchase the game. There are no updates for it. So just, just understand all that. And I promise in all the other tutorials, we're going to get right to business when the tutorials start. Okay, and the last thing that I want to say before we look at program settings today is that my idea for doing these tutorials are going to be uh, small quick hit tutorials that broach one subject instead of multiple. That way you can refer back to the video by its title and know exactly what you're getting rather than have to go through an hour tutorial and figure out what was the third thing I talked about. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing these in little bite-sized chunks. Some of them could be longer, but they will just be talking about the one topic so that's very obvious and followable, and you guys are able to reflect upon it at a later date and uh, know that's exactly what you're getting when you watch that video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into program settings today. So when you first load up the game, this is what you will have. Your duty desk will come up. There will also probably be another small box that pops up that is... Um, Tips and hints, I believe, is what it says. You, you have an option to shut that off or go through those. There's like a next button, and you can filter through several of those um, tips. So that will pop up. I actually have mine off. That's why you're not seeing it. So let's go over here to Program Settings and click on that. 
We're going to first start off over here with sound settings. We have our headset output, and here is the selection that I have on mine. You could choose whichever one that you are going to be using. And then I also have speaker output, USB audio. Now, I run a sound system, and when I record, I use headphones, that sort of thing. So it's going to all depend on your system, but that's where that's located in the program settings. Uh, you have your Traycon environment effects. Listen to the adjacent controllers. I have that selected to off because I do do recordings, and it's just a lot of extra chatter. And it really wouldn't be that enjoyable for you guys when I record episodes. So I, I have that on off. And um, there's an option for ambience that you can turn up higher. But, of course, it has no effect if it's off. Simulated radio options. Okay, you have the microphone effect when you click it. Um, I have that set to on. I like the effect. You also have below that your VH. Uh, F effect, which I imagine is the effect. And when I play it, I don't hear anything, so it must not be working here in the sample, but I imagine that's like some of your radio buzz and that type of thing. You have below that equipment, which is also probably some of the cockpit equipment and electronic equipment. I'll go ahead and play that for you. So you can kind of hear it. I have it low in the background. So you know, when you're having radio communication with the pilot, you may hear some of that. Then you also have some more of the uh, cockpit sounds. We'll go ahead and play one of those. Okay, so when you're communicating, you may hear that once in a while also. Um, and I imagine there's probably some other uh, files that they include in that. Down here, the last box, is our virtual pilot speaking rates. Now, there's a base rate for speed. Mine's set at 45, I believe that's how it originally came, and then all of them are set at zero. Um, so we'll leave that at 45, but we can listen to Adam here, for example. Or you know what, let's listen to Catherine, that'll be better. Listen to Catherine here. Contact center on 123.65, Learjet 7 Alpha Mike. Okay, so if that was too fast for you, especially when you're first starting off, you can go ahead and reduce that. Let's just take it down 22. Climb and maintain one four thousand. Turn direct Busby Southwest forty eight seventy five. Okay, or you can speed it up. If you're a pro, turn left three four five vectors for cadet Delta nineteen eleven. You can speed it up. So there is how you would do that, and you would do that for all of them. And some of them um, you may want to change, and some of them you may, you may want to leave. So it just depends. Some of them talk slower. Some of them have an accent that sort of thing. So feel free to, you know, mess around with those. All right, next let's go up to the top left here and select TCW options right here. And that is your terminal controller workstation options. The first box here is display options. Let's go ahead and briefly go through that. Show communication histories on startup I have on. Show enhanced terminal voice switch on startup I have on. Show flight progress strips on startup I have on. Now, I'm using a second monitor, so those, when the game loads up, I end up putting those on the second monitor. Perhaps I can make a video in the future showing how I do that. It's very, very simple. That way, when you guys are looking at the scope uh, and I'm doing an episode, you guys can see the scope without a bunch of stuff in the way. And anytime I want to explain something, I can just drag those boxes over and show you and then drag them back to the other screen. So you'll see me doing that in those episodes. If you haven't seen any of those episodes, go ahead and take a look at them. We'll go down to the fourth option, show information display system on startup. I have off. Um, you can bring those up manually at the bottom right, and we'll go through all of that in the future. Also show full data blocks off, and then highlight my airspace. airspace. Highlight my airspace with contrast. I have that set to on. So it really highlights my airspace, and um, I kind of like having it with that uh, better contrast. So I have mine on on. Automation options. Okay, the first one under there is enable automated handoffs. Now, I like to do these manually, and that would be, let's say I'm running departures and I'm going to hand off an aircraft to the center controller. What I would do is hit C on my 
keyboard for center controller and then I would select the aircraft. The information tabs on the aircraft will begin to blink and then that allows or that alerts the center controller to know that I am handing this particular aircraft off to them in their airspace. Once green, I know that the center controller has approved it and I can go ahead and give those instructions to the pilot. So I want to do that manually. The manual part is actually hitting the C and selecting the aircraft. If I had that on to on, it would automatically start blinking when he got closer to the airspace. And then I would still have to give the verbal commands. So I want to be on top of that myself and do it myself. So that's off. Override position symbol. Will, it will replace position symbols for unassociated. Let's bring that back up. Unassociated targets with a V character for aircraft squawking 1200. I have that set to off. And then the last one, enable D slide controller for scratch pad entries selected to on. Okay, so those are my settings. Feel free to go ahead and just duplicate those, especially if you watch the episodes here on the channel. All right, let's go ahead and check out game options. Over here on the top left, our last bar to select. Game options. We're going to look at the microphone. Our push to talk switch is our control key. I use the left control key. I have that selected to on. You can use a joystick button. I don't know who or why you would do that, but that option is there. And then my keyboard settings here, invert number pad for data block positions. I have that set to off. Um, I'm not even sure exactly what that does. So just default off. And then start up settings. And this is where uh, when you start up, it displays that ATC Pro tips and tricks that I was explaining on the duty desk that comes up in the front here. I have that now selected to off because it kind of drove me nuts after a while, but it does have beneficial um, tips and tricks. So, you you know, if you're just starting off, you may want to look at that. So, and, and it gives you the option to scroll through several of them by hitting the next button. So it, it's nice that they do have that there. All right, so that really covers it for the program settings in the game. I just thought, let's just start from scratch if we're going to do some basic tutorial stuff. And uh, that's really about it for this particular tutorial. Next up, we will get into the operational info. We'll go through that on our next episode. So if you... Uh, Happen to enjoy this type of content? Be sure to hit that like, that bell, that sub. I greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you all in the next one. This is a Gen X Gamer saying, uh, bye bye now.